A lot of birds up at 12. Yep. Wow, that's a lot of birds. All right, we're ready for them. Okay, a couple coming straight at us. Look at this. Here they come, here they come. Come here! Wow. Okay then. Is that teamwork? That's awesome, guys. It's a shame they didn't decoy. <laughs> Just absolutely epic to see all these ducks and geese working a field. Wow, is that pretty or what? And it's just going to be this giant bird <laughs> party. And it's, it's just so much fun to be at Ground Zero. Oh! oh, nice shot on that. <laughs> <laughs> nice, guys. Everybody Yeehaw! shot the birds. Ducks and geese. What a morning. Waterfall hunting can be a constant cycle of explosive action, followed by calm reflection, as we enjoy the beauty of our surroundings in anticipation of the next flurry. That same ebb and flow occurs every year as waterfall hunters eagerly await each fall to make their own migration north to partake in an epic annual hunt. We are launching to Canada in pursuit of waterfall. You know, come up to Alberta, it's an easy flight. I, I flew direct from Denver right up to Edmonton. So we got a standing pea field out here. Peas are like a narcotic to ducks and geese up here. They absolutely can't get enough of the peas. The birds have showed up and, and, and the crop hasn't even harvested yet. So the farmers are phoning us to say, come on, get the birds out of here. And, I got a good feeling about this one. If you were to fly over these roosts, which are really very often just pieces of the prairie potholes, you're going to see hundreds and thousands of uh, geese and ducks. At they flock at 12. All right. Early in the morning, they get out and they start feeding, and they just go to these pea fields. And hopefully, you've got your party invites out in the form of decoys, and you're ready for them. Go ahead, guys. Good call. Oh, oh man, perfect timing that right was there. well done. <laughs> Pretty cool, boys. Pretty cool. Bring it in, sweetie. Good girl. You know, when it comes to duck and goose hunting, you've got Saskatchewan, you've got Prairie, Alberta as well. And it's really all part of this 275,000 square mile prairie pothole region, the, the biggest waterfowl producing zone on the planet. Let's, let's shoot this pair. <laughs> Go ahead, guys. Pretty, pretty. You know, it's an embarrassment of riches, but you've got geese coming right here, you got geese over here, ducks right here. What do you call? You want to make sure everybody in the blind can shoot. The sky's alive. Yeah, yeah. So it's, uh, it's a tricky proposition, but these guys are really good. They've been doing it for a long time. Rob is, is absolutely a pro. Go ahead. Yeah. You know what? That's one of the toughest things as a guide, Joe. You got four there. And you got 100 behind them. What do you do? Yeah. Get greedy or take what you got well, on the bird platter. in the hand. You're calling it just right. <laughs> just right. So up here in Alberta, we're, we're pretty fortunate to have a variety of species of birds. It's mostly mixed bag hunts every day. We got four at 1 o'clock. Four, four low out front. Today, even, we've, we've shot some mallards, pintails, and Canada's. So we're, we're pretty blessed for. We're having a good variety of birds every day. Go ahead, guys. I got a couple out there. There's a bunch over there. Good that shoot, well boys. Done. Yeah. Pretty. Boy, that was pretty. Awesome. Really pretty. You having any fun this morning? It's great. Couldn't be better. Awesome. So a few months ago, Chris called and asked me if I wanted to do this, this hunt in Alberta. You know, I hadn't been in Alberta since I was 17 years old. I came here with my brother and neighbor kid, we drove to Banff and Jasper Parks to see that, but never to hunt. So literally 47 years later, here was this opportunity to come here and hunt waterfowl. All right, single up front. And that was too good to pass. Go ahead, Chris. Oh, 
Nicely done. Tag team. What Did somebody a... else shoot? <laughs> I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Unfortunately, we limited out on both ducks and geese. That's terrible. Don't, don't you hate that? One for the ages right there. Just absolutely epic. Well, this is why you come to Prairie Canada. You don't get theater like this really anywhere else. It's all right here. Good bunch of ducks out front. They are here coming at us. Get ready. Here they are right here. Go ahead, guys. Get them. Oh, well done. <laughs> That's crazy. The ducks and geese coming in at the same time. <laughs> What's your target? Yeah. Boy, I've been shooting this Winchester blindside now for several years, and it is just lethal. I mean, it's it's amazing to me. When, when it smacks ducks and geese, it's not this, you know, fringy kind of coasting deal. They're down, and they're down hard. Go ahead. Boom, boom. And the one-two punch of the Super X4 and the blind side is just a absolutely devastating combination for waterfowl. And... Get them there. Aha, Ready. baby. Yes. <laughs> that was spectacular, man. Awesome, guys. How fantastic is that? Good shooting, boys. Good, Good shooting. shooting. That's right. That's a bad Ooh. time when you got to count, and it's only, what, 7.30 in the morning or something? <laughs> Well, Joe, if you weren't such a great shot, it'd take a little well, bit longer. There's that, yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about that for a while. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I met up with this guy, Rob. You know, you, you get to know somebody in a couple of days, and you spend a lot of time with him in a blind. Turns out he's got a hell of a sense of humor. Shoot him, Joe. There we go. Hey. Nice job, Jason. Good calling. Not that you weren't calling, Rob. But... No, I... I'm just hanging out with you guys. <laughs> just hanging out with a couple stud muffins here. <laughs> but he grew up here, so he knows this area very well. These field guys, uh, the callers, the dog handlers, everybody on his team seems to have a real clear sense of what their role is, and they all work great together, which was, yeah, right. was really nice. And it's, uh, it's been a lot of fun. Look at that beehive on the end of the field. Mm -hmm. Look at them all. Ooh, look at that. That's a swarm, huh? <laughs> the most impressive sight was to have these flocks of ducks and geese at various elevations. The birds are passing one direction or another, layer upon layer, going up in the sky. Need an air traffic controller to do that. Exactly. <laughs> Coming from all directions. Because right? mm -hmm. it was really spectacular to watch that from a blind. Just look up and see this, this silo of, of activity above you. And the sound, this cacophony of sound, is, right, is just uh, mesmerizing. It really does pull you in, and you're just thinking, this is an amazing sight. I'm never going to see this again. So, Go ahead, guys. Get them. Nice. Nice, nice. Beautiful. Oh, well. That was so cool. They're just coming in, suddenly becoming like 3D, coming right on top of us. These Canadas were just too perfect. That was impressive. Belle does her part. There you go. What's that, Caleb? A little bling bling? Oh, it's 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 a treat, and this is uh, this is what all duck and goose hunters live for right now. This is a, a special time of year. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta be quick around these guys. <laughs> really? <laughs> Barely got a bearing, and they're all down. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You know what happens with this game? It turns into every man for himself. <laughs> it does. <laughs> we know those days. You talk about paradise for a waterfowler, huh? Yeah. I mean, how do you grow up in a place like this and ever leave? You know, if you're a duck or goose hunter, it's right in the center of the universe right here. Yeah, no. We're, yeah. We're great. It's all good. Nice to have you guys join us. Yeah, well. There's too many for us to have them just ourselves. <laughs> we gotta share. That's right. <laughs> Every fall, I make a pilgrimage to the Prairie Pothole region to enjoy spectacular wing shooting with friends and family. Why do I keep coming back? Well, don't ask me, ask Joe. You know, you don't get a lot of chances in life to do something that it's with people you want to be with, it's places you want to go to, it's doing what you have a passion to do. So to have these things come together and to be in Alberta for this bird hunt with my brother, um, that's right up there. That's a real special thing for me, and um, 
I feel like um, I feel like the luckiest guy in the world, frankly.